Saturday Night Live writer Katie Rich was suspended indefinitely after posting a tweet that used Donald Trump's 10-year-old son, Barron, as the punchline. Now, we're not going to show you the tweet, but the question is, should kids always be off-limits? Because SNL has used the children of president in sketches before. Hmm. I think so. I think so. What? Yeah, I, th I think, you know, kids don't ask for the job. They don't sign up for the job, um, and I don't think they should be subject to mockery or I think there has to be something in politics. You know, criticize the guy or the woman who wanted the job and gets out there front and center and makes the tough policy decisions, but leave the kids out of it. Show some respect for the family. There has to be something Trump? sacred. Something has to be sacred, and I think it should be the children. But isn't it because he's 10? I mean, I, I, I certainly think a 10-year-old is off limits. I have a 10-year-old, and she's extremely sensitive, and I'd be furious if someone did something yeah. like that. But... Eric Trump, Donald Jr., Ivanka, that's they've different. Put their, their kids of a president, but they've put themselves out there. That's well, different they're because the they're occasion. on television. They're on television talking policy. They're, right. they're also part they're, of adults. They're, they're yeah. adults. So, so, so it's, 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 we're talking about it's, kids. We're talking about kids. 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 You know, 18. I think well, life's kids. hard enough. And normally, Joy, I would support, because I know what a comics approach to this is, that yeah. you can't really edit comedy. You've got to let it go. You, it flows. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to how rough the world is on bullying and yes. kids right now. Yeah. It's one of those places that I would have a hard time even laughing anywhere at a joke of, at the kids' expense. And Except the tweet you're wasn't holding, funny. You're holding a comedy writer accountable, and the president of the United States says much worse things, and he becomes the president. That's so true. So, with a double standard here. That's true. Well, I, 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 I think that's that. that. But, but... I think oh, that's that's not not, but, but why punish his kid for that? It's not the kid's fault that yeah. his dad's a, you know... What and I, I, find <laughs> you know what what I, I agree with yeah, that part. Yeah. I'm yeah. just pointing out the yeah. double standard. Well, I there's mean, a triple standard here. You know that. Yeah, you but the, that. but the tweet had something to do with violence. Yes. yes. And so against, um, you know, whoever. Yeah. But and uh, his father. But then go after the Then dad. Donald Trump go upset said in dad. 2016 of August yeah. the following. Hillary wants to essentially abolish the Second Amendment. By the way, if she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but I found it uh, implication. Violence implication we, we there. We don't He's like the it. president. Two right, two wrongs don't make it right. Like and I also, feel that. How about, wrong how about ten wrongs? Well, yeah, I, just right. I don't agree with. Sorry, Whoopi, I don't okay. agree with this either. I never did. So I feel like you have to take it case by case. Yeah, and, and you can't. And you awful. can't. You can't hold a ten-year-old responsible for the idiocy of his dad. I don't mind going out. His dad's a, look. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, girl. Uh oh. I just, you know, <laughs> there's some things that you can't, you can't blame a 10-year-old. No, he didn't ask right. to come. I yeah, agree with that. He didn't ask to come. You know that. I say we, just... We're saying the same thing, but we also... So blame... Listen, yeah. yeah, blame the dad, but also pay attention when you discover that Comey... Did you know this? That uh, the New York Times is reporting that Comey, the FBI director, is being kept on. Yes, of course, he, of course is. he is. So those are the things is. that if you yeah. want to attack some stuff, let's have some fun. Let's go after that and rip that to poop. But, but you know, but not to, the to Joy's point... One thing that where I think they've gone wrong is SNL has suspended her indefinitely. She took down the tweet and she apologized, which is something our president never does. That's the question. That's the question. Should should she be? Is the is what she did worth what she got? Because right. it, it it and to me, no, that was right. inappropriate. Yeah. It's and an inappropriate it's overkill. Indefinite yeah. suspension. Get out, yeah, get her and out. And she did apologize. Yeah, yeah she said, she, I sincerely apologize for the insensitive tweet. I deeply regret my actions and offensive words. It was inexcusable and I'm so sorry. Yeah. 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 It was a, it was yeah. a good apology. That's, I think ridiculous. you make a good point though, Sonny, when you talk about Eric Trump or once these kids become adults then and get on television and get on news shows mm -hmm. and espouse opinions and are weighing in yeah. on their parents' policy decisions, then they yeah. need to be accountable for their actions. Then, you, then the excuse of, oh, it's just, you know, they didn't want to brought them. Okay, yeah. so, so we're so talking maybe, about actual children who yeah. are not involved behind the scenes and are being held accountable for things they're So maybe the do. president gets away with it because he has the mentality of a 10-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> That's giving mo that's giving a ten year old that's most true. ten year olds. Okay, five year old. Yeah, four yeah. year old. Yeah. He's a zygote. You also, <laughs> he's getting away we with it. People are get... holding him accountable. We're sitting here. He I mean, won the election. He won the election, but you, you hold him accountable every day, and so That's do a right. whole bunch of people. So yeah, he's yeah. not getting away with it. He's held him account. He is getting away with it. He's signing things I don't like already. Let's and go. you're holding yeah, him accountable yeah. for that. Yeah, what power do I have? You're holding him accountable. What power do you have? 
you, in, in a few years, you'll have, have the opportunity to vote for somebody else. Elections have consequences, and you have the power to criticize that person and their policy. Right now I do. And people can be mobilized and vote people out. Right That's now I do. Biggest power in the world. Right but, now. All right, but <laughs> I hope that I still have my First Amendment rights. You will have years. your First Amendment rights. I'm confident of that. <laughs> I reiterate, <laughs> Comey is staying on yeah. Yeah. after yeah. all of that. Yeah. Well, he was there is a camp. big question as to where we are headed. And, and, and we are right to ask these questions. I, it is we what we're supposed to do. And the new, for new First Lady has, uh, I guess, also mostly been treated with kid gloves. Uh, people held up signs at the Women's March that read, Free Melania. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And someone also put in, <laughs> put in on their site that uh, the box that she gave the Obamas, okay. when they opened it, it said, help. 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 I yeah. saw that. <laughs> there was, you know what, there was another one. There was another one that said, here's your speech back. Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> I didn't oh. want to. Oh, oh. <laughs> Funny. No, but, the, you know, the, there's been a lot of humor yeah. taken mm -hmm. here. But uh, the question is, should she be off limits? Because she was one of the folks weighing in on political matters on your show, on show. Uh, in 2011. See his tax returns. So She was very assertive, assertive about it. Yeah. She, she was right on his team. And, and that yeah. was very interesting because That's his you, wife. you yeah. all know I've that been was. willing to sort of let her off the hook after seeing the, the yes. nude photos, you know, that I thought but that's something I thought was in the past. She plagiarized Michelle's speech. We all know she did. I was willing to kind of look the other way. She defended her husband and called uh, sexual, uh, joking about sexually assaulting women just locker room talk. I kept on giving her these passes. Then I saw that and I was like, wow, yeah. you don't get a pass. She doesn't. You she don't get, get a pass because now you're pushing forth conspiracy theories. And, and, did, and you're, you not, did you not hear any of the stuff that's in the two speeches that she gave yeah. that parroted exactly what he said? You know, last year. I mean, this is this yeah. is. You know, this. If you're married to somebody, you're going to carry on. I, I I get from talking to folks who are married. You're yeah. going to parrot kind of what your husband said. The reason you're but the but the well, idea. If you agree with them, if, if you, you agree, agree. well, if you but agree. you know. Yeah. We will never know what she thinks or feels because she's always whisked away. Yeah. Well, that was the last time anybody saw her for more than five minutes. We, we will hear more. <laughs> she was pushing a jewelry line, which she gave me a lovely watch, yes, by the she way. Did, yeah, she, remember she came to yeah. the view, gave us three. Yeah, Beautiful she's stuff. very nice. But, but I'm, I'm curious really, about her platform now. The question, the question really is, is she being... Uh, told to tell these things doesn't and I think like that. I think that in that clip which is one clip only it shows that she has a mind of her own it doesn't mm -hmm. really matter if she's being told she's a grown woman and she's talking policy look conservatives didn't let Michelle Obama off the hook for things no. she said I remember Michelle Obama in February 2008 to be fair she said for the first time in my adult life yeah. I'm really proud of my country because it feels like hope is finally making a comeback a lot of people out there had a problem with that and said for the first time you're proud of your country yeah mm -hmm. they criticized her because she's a grown woman about to take a very big job right. and they had questions about what she had said in the same way be consistent and have questions about we this. Need can I, can her, I her just clean something up? I'm, no, I don't care about a birtherism. It's too late. <laughs> but I understand why Michelle felt like that because I watched my mother weep at seeing uh, President Obama become president because she never thought in her lifetime she'd ever see a person of right. color. Yeah. So I get what I Michelle get, was talking about. I get that. Yeah. No, I just wanted to clear yeah. that up for people. Yeah. So no. I understand right. that. I'm yeah. just speaking to the people who are yeah. selectively critical, who yeah. were critical of Michelle Obama saying, well, she's about to take a big job and she said this and I'm uncomfortable with it, but are hesitant to criticize Melania for getting but on television and of, having an adult. But that, Michelle Obama got, this, got flack because she wanted to give healthy food to children. Yes. Yeah. Don't you remember well, that? She got right. flack because of the government. Hold up. Not because of that. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, God Still ahead, Trump goes to work. The most controversial cuts, repeals, and orders of his first day on the job. Welcome back. Taylor Swift has spent a lot of her career touting female empowerment and strong women, but she's being trashed as a spineless feminist for being a no-show at Saturday's March. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 
Does this make her less of a feminist? Who defines what a feminist is? Who to say, how do you know? What what the hell? I mean, this, is, this is total crap to me. Like she is someone that constantly lifts her her squad up, other women. She once um spoke out to a girl being bullied online and, and tweeted directly at this girl and said, you know, bullies are broken inside, don't let them change you. All these amazing things. I, don't, I am tired of people projecting how they're defining it or what they expect under someone else. Because if you live it every day, then someone else should not be telling you what is okay and what isn't about being a feminist. Well, you know, she knows very well that once you take a political position, you will yeah. lose half your audience, as we do, yeah. every day. <laughs> the minute you say one way or the other, yeah. you, half of the people watching don't like you. Right. And she knows that. And she's in the record-selling business. When she says, don't bully, that's a very uh, you but know, innocuous... But she also tweeted something, which is what started. What she wrote, tweet? so much love, pride, and respect for those who marched. I'm proud to be a woman today and every day. Hashtag Women's March. See, I had a problem with that because I don't have a problem with, with Taylor Swift being apolitical. I don't have a problem with Taylor Swift not attending the, the, the march. But I have a problem with Taylor Swift sort of dipping in her toe to, uh, to, to become somewhat political, but then getting right back out of the water. Because the Daily Beast said, trying or pretending to be woke without displaying any sort of political preference or informed opinion is almost more offensive than saying nothing at I all. I just disagree with that. I, I, I've I, had celebrities, I agree with that. I have had celebrities that say they feel every time someone passes away or something happens mm -hmm. that they have to speak because they're a figure. You, no they one don't, forced her to tweet that, though. No, but what I'm saying is but she may say she felt the pressure to. People are told that from their camps they have to do it. They have to speak. People need to stop. They need to know where their life ends and someone else's begins. But they begins. don't. You all, Worry about the stuff don't. in your own house and leave people alone. I, I think like, she's a public figure, and I also think, quite frankly, too much, you know, and when you get that much power and, and recognition and, and fame, fortune. that is a platform, and use it for good. And that's so you she's going nice, to she dip her toe in. I, I, and, and just sort of dip it back out. Let me just say, you don't, we don't know what she was doing behind the scenes yeah, that, that day. We don't know no. what her life's like. There are people that I know that have wanted to, I had a friend that wanted to volunteer at a soup kitchen and tweeted something out one time in support of that to raise funds. And you know what? Had a sick mom at home and was tending to that that day. So I think it's really easy oh, to judge. Oh, you don't think that if she was at a soup kitchen, there no, wouldn't be a I'm picture? Saying, what Joy, I'm saying, Joey, not literally. Is, no, not literally. Oh, whatever she was You doing. don't know. Never Maybe she was doing. sick. Maybe the girl was sick. Come on. Maybe she had something else. Or maybe Joyful. that's You're not being cynical. her way. But maybe you know, that's not her way of defending does feminism. It everybody right. doesn't do it. And we have no, you have no right to criti criticize her for not doing yeah. what you would be doing. Exactly. I that's think it's, listen, she can dip her toe in. One of the things that I like about Taylor Swift is that she doesn't shy away. If she wants to congratulate and say, oh, I'm really excited about this, she has the right to do that. We don't know where she was. We don't know what she was doing. And you know what? She at least acknowledged it. There were lots of famous chicks that said nothing. So I don't think anybody has the right to demand that you do something. Not everybody can do it. Not everybody can do what we do. No. But the way but we do it. I, I guess it's because of the girl power thing. That yes, sort of put her she, out there. But that's what she, she does. Yeah. But she was doing that before we were talking about it. Okay? She was doing girl, girl power before there was a march. Yeah. Well, and no we always formula, and we it. say, you know, good for her. So, that's what yeah. I. That's what I. That's that what I want. Great. Yes. That's and the fact that she has the fact that she does it. Yeah, I'm just saying I why it's a good thing. Yeah. You know? yeah, she was, yeah, in 2015, she was actually named number one on do something.org celebs gone good list in part for supporting feminist causes. Yeah. Like, I think yeah. we don't need to, when she comes out of the gates and does what she does in her world, yeah. we can't then say, but then you didn't do this, so yeah. maybe we'll take our card back. Yeah. Like, then that holds us up like, to the same. Yeah, yeah. I would. I would, I would really think. I, I, and, and, and I think she, she has been very vocal about being a feminist. I know she gave this, art, uh, this um, interview in 2014 to The Guardian magazine. It says that after becoming friends with Lena Dun Dunham, that she really understands that she's been a feminist her entire life. But I also think when you have that kind of platform and you've already put yourself out there, then it's up to you to do the most that you can possibly well, she does, do. But she that's, does, that's, I, I don't know that she did. Than, listen, she does more than a lot of people have done. What have you done? What have I done? Well, I've done a little bit. Well, okay, what, what I'm saying.
And, but I'm saying yeah, that's what, what it holds us up to. Yeah. What did I do? Uh, okay, yeah. I did this, but I didn't do that. I think it's not a good idea for us to say, yeah. to play that game because we're all guilty. Yeah. I also, it's my I just, point. I, I, also, I was yeah. he, You know what I was. I know yeah, you yeah, didn't. I know. I, no. Yeah. Um, I also what see you me. No, but I, I just, I understand the criticism. I yeah, really do. I, but, I, I just think yeah. women, though, often, cri I see a lot of criticism by women of women saying, you're doing this so you're not a feminist. Yeah. Or you're mm -hmm. not doing this yeah. so you can't. Every, feminism means different things to different people, and you can stand up for women's rights and stand up for women in your own way, and that might not suit your definition or your definition, mm -hmm. but it suits my definition. Yes. And if it's mm -hmm. positive and bringing something positive to the table, yes. I'm okay with that. Well, strong, the that equal pay to equal work. So yeah. 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 Well, you know, that's one of the things that she's always talked yeah. about. She's always mm -hmm. talked about it. You know, there are a lot of these little girls and young women who have gotten out there and they're standing up, and I always think, okay, nice, good for you. And don't focus because on what they one did. More it's one more person mm -hmm. who's saying something's wrong. I'm seeing it. Yeah. You know, and I think that's not a bad thing, and I think you're right. Yeah. Women always sort of <laughs> talk each other up. Yeah. She's beating I'm me. I'm beating up. her up because <laughs> I think oh, this constant beating up of day. me is not right. I think the focus on what people aren't doing is not the, the, the place we're at right now in this climate. We should be focusing on the good people do yeah. and applaud that and yeah. move on. All right. I got gas. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Kristen Bell is a wonderful young actress. Oh. Uh, and she says if her kids age two and four act up the grocery store, it shouldn't reflect badly on her as a parent. But the question is, so when is it you? <laughs> when should you take some action and get their little behinds yeah. out and, and yeah. do, or should you? Should it, should it reflect a parent at all? I don't, I, I'm new to the whole parenting game, so uh, I'm barely in the door. But right. I think in that, those toddler years, we should all be a little forgiving of yeah. like, this is what they do. Right. It's a different game when I think, and again, each child is different. But right. if you have like an eight-year-old that's beating the crap out of the seat in front of him on a plane and no parent speaks up, yeah. that's when I might have to yeah. do the little... <laughs> <laughs> That, that to me you know, is a little more parenting. My experience yeah. with my grandson is that as they're when they're toddlers, as you said, like he's yeah. six now. When he was two or three, yeah. he was uh, he was crazy. The kid, and they're little tantrums. And then the other day, he said to me, "You know, Nana, I really like the texture of these walls." <laughs> gentlemen he's becoming like a bon vivant now and, and a wallpaper expert so just wait it out and they get there yeah. we can yeah. hold him accountable <laughs> I, I do think at you know at some point it's not the parents fault anymore it's the kids fault yeah but generally speaking if, if your kid is a jerk it's because you're not doing the right thing right like, I, I, I was on you're well, not what, what is what age is that what, what, you have to, I think you have to give us an idea of age, what you're yeah, talking about. I think it's hard to... Two-year-olds are jerks, I'm yeah. just saying. But yeah. I, think it's, I think if you have, you know, a 15-year-old or a 16-year-old that's being disrespectful yeah. and, uh, you know... That's a parent. That, yeah, that's that's, parent. that's yeah. a parent. And I, I, I was on a plane... Yours is not. Yeah, it's not. Three is and not I was on a, on a plane okay. recently, and I, I traveled with, with my kids since they were babies. Were they perfect? They, they were not perfect, but I had them <laughs> occupied. I traveled with, like, two and three bags of coloring books and all of this stuff. And there, were, there was the, this kid that traumatized me. I mean, I was traumatized the entire flight, and the, her, his mother didn't have anything with her and i thought well that's kind of parenting at that at that point if you're on a six-hour flight and you didn't bring anything yeah oh, what was the kid you know the kid was probably about five yeah all yeah. i know is that i'm always the there's one always alcohol the though. kid yeah you could... <laughs> if you could find that one kid if you're out in a space and there's the one kid that you're like Let's sit that kid over there it's that kid's gonna sit right next to me yeah. he's gonna tug yeah. i had a kid i took a nice nap on an airplane once and woke up the kid had drawn all over me and it's like <laughs> what is it i mean it's like my ovaries just shut down and that all so i don't know uh, this i don't know who who needs somebody needs to take care of that kid i agree with you i think it's i think it's it's mutual responsibility but when the worst thing is when when i woke up from that and the, the mom was like oh that's so cute and i was like <laughs> Yeah. So parents need to be parents at some point. Yeah. And, right. and it's a hard job. It's a hard so job. It's a t I would not. I, yeah, I'm going to have that job one day, and I'm, I'm a little nervous. We're job. waiting. We would love to see a little baby on the show. Yay! Yay! We have 
one. We'll have have one. one. Yeah. You need a little right wing baby. We'll have a big shower. It'll be like the old days on the view. <laughs> <laughs> I feel Remember like we're going to Yeah, I never came. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> California woman posted her friend's incident at a restaurant with <laughs> complained oh about seeing a retone <laughs> while she was eating. And then the bill came and she felt that the 30% discount with a note <laughs> saying, you know, hey, this is what we, we know you saw a rat, so here's the 30% discount. She was appalled because she felt the whole meal should have been complimented. Now, me personally, I feel this is the difference sometimes between some people mm -hmm. and some other people. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, some people say, oh, there's a rat there. Oh, look at the rat. Oh, excuse me. That's not what we would be doing. We'd be like, ah, rat! That's right. That's true. It's true. It's okay. true. And as we're clicking the pictures, we'd be out the door, like you. Because you wouldn't sit. That, I would have no. standing on the table. That's right. Well, I, I was in Maine, and I did uh, eating at a hotel restaurant, and I did see a, a mouse. It wasn't a rat. It was like a little field mouse. And I was, ah, ah, ah. I didn't think about taking a, a photo of it. My husband. Because you're of a certain age. Yeah, right? I didn't. If these, I, if yeah. was a young yeah, person, person, person like, would have. Ah, click, 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 I click, click, click. <laughs> was pointing. We did not leave. We got free drinks, but then we got the bill. But you uh, stayed. You and the, the, the mouse. You I, I had already eaten. Well, it's not like the rat can drink the martini. I, I like know, to stay right? Right? Yeah. But I stayed but so that's I a practical I girl. Thank you. <laughs> and I well, paid the bill. Take the glass with you, and then you're eating. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. You know. I, I, a rodent I indoors is un unnatural and, like un and un-American. Un he's talking about a little tiny mouse. You could justify it's cute. It's little. You can't talk about a rat. If it can poop on the food, it shouldn't be in there. I know. They need to close that restaurant. And I want to know how they calculated the bill at 30.95 off. Like at what point are they like, really? Give or take a few cents. Do we want to put? But there is a note. Um, the Kevin Fat, who's the COO of the restaurant group, uh -huh. says that they never had an issue with rats in their 14 years of business, and a Sacramento County health inspector was dispatched to the location after the report and found no evidence of an infestation. Well, it could happen. I mean, it happens. So maybe it was just a one-off yeah. rat. Maybe it wasn't <laughs> like... You know what I mean? Also, people don't know the difference between a rat and a mouse. If yeah. people outside of big cities yeah. don't seem to... A vole is the little mouse you saw. Yeah, I saw a little mouse. Ratone, no, it looks more like something that has a, a rat. tail. That's what I'm talking it's about. as big tail. as your baby. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. If it can carry your baby and a piece of pizza out the store. <laughs> exactly. It's too big. Exactly. Okay. How about this? Allure magazine. <laughs> Allure magazine. Okay, got some women to share some things they were really thinking during sex. <laughs> you love this. Sarah loves this story. <laughs> The bigger question really is... What were you thinking? What would, what, what would make you answer this? Oh, okay. what, what, what would Just you would see that? Like, what you should like, read this. There, there are so many entries. There's one where the woman can't tell if he's talking to Alexa or her. There are other ones. Oh, no. There's is her name Alexa? No, but he was talking to her in full sentences. and he, While he during sex? Yes. How it's annoying. amazing. I'm so glad people answer these questions. <laughs> then there's a woman with a dog that's like, please don't come upstairs. Please don't come upstairs. Because the dog always jumps on the bed. <laughs> and you know, and the other thing is, someone was like, maybe the Holocaust movie wasn't the best choice because you can hear it in the background. Do you know, I mean, oh my God. <laughs> there was one that said, um, is, the, is this really happening? I didn't even realize he was bald, and I've always wanted to have sex with a bald guy. Surprise win! <laughs> That's a hooker. Another that woman, is a hooker. Another woman wrote she was hoping to go to. <laughs> She was hoping to go to work early, but her husband's a morning person. Ugh. <laughs> you guys know you're thinking it sometimes. Well, what are you? Like, give us yours. Please don't jump up here. Please don't jump up here to my chihuahua. <laughs> or Anderson Cooper, can we talk a little quieter? Like, like, I thought it. I know Why I'm not alone. See, this is what I don't understand. If you have a dog and you know you're getting it on, why is the door open? Because it might be spontaneous, right? No, no, no. It's but a chihuahua. If, she goes with me even, everywhere. Yes, but she should not. 
if you if she knows that she's going everywhere, it's your problem. She if she jumps up on the bed, she scratches the door if I don't yes. let her in, and then she sits on her bed and does this. Oh. <laughs> she side eyes me through the whole. It's really hard. What are you gonna do when, when Alex gets big enough to come in? Alec. Alec. And I can lock him out. A chihuahua scratches the door. You cannot yeah, lock a child out. You they show up. They show up. That's always my. Don't hit me. We'll be right back. Uh, he made that sound loud and clear during his inaugural address, but uh, between his ties to Russia and to business interests around the world, how will he really handle global politics? Joining us now is the woman who just left her post as U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, Samantha Power. Hey. Hello. Wes. Over the last couple of years, this sort of began to unfold. What were you hearing from other nations? Did they take it seriously? Did they think this was a joke? And, and once they realized that he was the nominee, did folks then start to panic around the world? Um, I think it caught them off guard, just as it caught many in this country off guard. Um, I will say that my fellow ambassadors were tracking the latest Pew Rasmussen polls with, right. as if it was happening in their own country. Right. I and mean, this is how important yeah. American leadership is around the world. You know, people say that when America sneezes, country X gets a cold, right. you know. And, and so they feel very connected with what has happened here. And in the same way, they felt affirmed and the change and hope and everything was possible because Barack Obama managed to be elected in this country against all odds. Twice. So too, twice, no less. Um, so too here, they're, they're very fearful for what it will mean for the rest of the world. If America first, which is a reasonable proposition for a commander in chief, they're going to put their citizens first. But if that means America only, or if we don't see our security as linked to that of other country or our economy as linked and to, to that of other countries, that could be a real problem because yeah. if we turn our back on NATO, then we're going to turn around to NATO countries and say, hey, come fight with us against ISIL. Mm. Or if we, if Ebola happens or something like right. that, and we say, well, that's their problem, that's yeah. not America. But then Ebola comes here. You know, yeah. we've seen it. We live in a connected world, and we can't pretend that's right. not the case. Wait, let me ask you something, Samantha. What do you make of his uh, cozy connection to Russia? Do you, fan. do you think, <laughs> well, some people think that he owes a lot of money to them, and so there's some blackmail that could go on. Look, I think what, what is important is that Russia has spent the last several years under President Putin violating every rule in right. the playbook mm -hmm. on which our security depends. That was started in Ukraine when they tried to lop off uh, and indeed have attempted to annex mm -hmm. part of a, of a neighbor. Mm -hmm. Territorial integrity is sacred. But, it has but, to but be. Trump will say, "Why can't? What's wrong with getting along with Russia?" It's good no, for I'm them. for getting along with Russia. I got yeah. along with Russia uh -huh. in all kinds of ways. We got 60 resolutions a year, you know, through the UN Security Council, set up peacekeeping missions, want to fight sexual violence around. There are lots of ways to get along with Russia. But when Russia starts lopping off part of a country, when they support a government that's using chemical weapons against its own people, and when they interfere in our election, right, and, <laughs> and try to change the outcome of our election, like, all bets are off. And, and we have to recognize this is a bipartisan uh, challenge. This is something that we have to be able to unite around. And sadly, because of, as it happens, a Republican was elected in an election in which Russia tried to interfere, that has made Republicans, many, go to their corner, Democrats go to their corner. We've got to get past that because China's looking, North Korea's looking, mm -hmm. ISIL's looking, and Russia's still looking mm -hmm. to see how they can, how they can right. do more and worse. Well, Trump has, um, he, to take over the U.N. ambassador spot is Governor Haley. Um, some people, she did well in her hearing, but some had a, a lot of very uh, constructive dealing with her since she was named. Um, my team, what, they were my team, they're not my team anymore, I guess. Uh, but but a, a group of career Foreign Service civil servants uh, are there who coached me through the early days and the early years. Um, Fundamentally, I think she has run South Carolina well. She's very popular in her state, and people at the UN are pretty excited about her. I've got to say, they they think they think that she puts forward a, a constructive face. They like what what some of what she said uh, in the hearing. They're anxious because they're worried that the Trump administration will turn its back on the UN. And I've got to say, I was. Uh, I benefited from the fact that Barack Obama was my president. Mm -hmm. so you can be uh, a very uh, effective and even popular uh, UN ambassador 
if the policies of your government are ones that you can use to rally the world. So fundamentally, there's only so much an ambassador can do if, if the president walks away from the UN, that's going to undermine the effectiveness of, of my successor. Is he going to do that? Well, yeah. No, I don't, I don't know that he is, but I think certainly there's been rhetoric out of different camps that we should worry about because you know, the UN is a screwed up place. It's 193 yeah. countries. Each of them bring their own self-interest, their own pettiness, this, that, and the other. But fundamentally, if we didn't have it, we'd right. have to build it's it. All because, because all the threats that are most dangerous to us and to the American people are ones across borders mm -hmm. where you need to mobilize coalitions yeah. to come together to, to come up but with But Ambassador, he called it a club for people to get together, talk, and just have a good time and a waste of time and money. Well, he's clearly can he meant. can he sever ties with the UN if he wants? Well, to? He, you know we are the biggest donor to the UN. With that uh, financial responsibility, also comes a huge amount of power at the UN. We are the leader of the world in part because of the support that we offer for peacekeeping, for vaccinations for kids around the world. I mean, he, he's the president. He could work to, with Congress to do a lot of things, but it would be very ill-advised from the standpoint of the security of the American people. Extremely ill-advised. And can Nikki Haley? Do anything about that well, if he she, decides to, to pull out? To her great credit, uh, has negotiated uh, with President Trump to be a cabinet level UN ambassador. She's the first oh, Republican in a really long time who has done that. Yeah. And so, you know, again, she will be her own ambassador and we'll see how, how uh, she, she settles in. But her voice at the table, not, you know, parroting the views of other countries, that's not what you do. But sharing, you know, here's what countries are saying about their willingness to do what we need them to do. Mm -hmm. They don't just take orders. Yeah. You know, you actually have to hear them out and, and build coalitions in a constructive mm -hmm. way. Samantha, what's next for you as you move forward? Uh, a nap. And then <laughs> Little League, because I have two littles who I uh, had at the White House uh, while I was working for President Obama. I've been at this for 10 years. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, they're gorgeous. So them mainly, but I think anything that each of us was planning to do before all of recent events, as we put it, unfolded. We have to do that and now figure out what else. Yeah. So what's the other thing? And, and my son used to say when I was coming home and I was on my Blackberry the whole time, and he would say, Mommy, you know, it's always Putin, Putin, Putin. <laughs> When's it going to be Declan, Declan, Declan? <laughs> and so now is the Declan, Declan, Declan phase. But the problem is there's still Putin, Putin, Putin. Yeah. 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 And now we got Putin, 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 you know. And, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully Nikki will use you as an ally because yeah. I think you can never, you can ha never have too many allies. Yeah, I root for her. You know? I root for all of them. It's yes. about the American people and yes. keeping this country safe. All right. Thanks to Ambassador Power. Come back and hang out anytime. We'll be right back. Thank you. So when was the last time any of you guys went over to the UN? Have you been over in a while? I went recently. Yeah. A couple of years ago. Yeah. We yeah, should do that. We should go over and just see what the ambassadors do, see what's happening at the UN. It's a fascinating, oh, like a field fascinating trip. place. Well, okay. <laughs> And it's an important place. As yeah, we now know, that you learn. say it like that, I'm not sure I want to. You take the party bus, yeah. guys. <laughs> Listen, whatever we're doing, whatever you're doing, we're glad to be with you while you're doing it. We want you to have a great day and take a little time to enjoy the view. All right. The view Saturday Night Live writer Katie Rich was suspended indefinitely after posting a tweet that used Donald Trump's 10-year-old son, Barron, as the punchline. Now, we're not going to show you the tweet, but the question is, should kids always be off limits? Because SNL has used the children of president in sketches before. Hmm. I think so. I think so. Right. Yeah, I, th I think, you know, kids don't ask for the job. They don't sign up for the job, um, and I don't think they should be subject to mockery or I think there has to be something in politics. You know, criticize the guy or the woman who wanted the job and gets out there front and center and makes the tough policy decisions, but leave the kids out of it. Show some respect for the family. There has to be something sacred. Something has to be sacred, and I think it should be the children. But isn't it because he's 10? I mean, I, I, I certainly think a 10-year-old is off limits. I have a 10-year-old, and she's extremely sensitive, and I'd be furious if someone did something yeah. like that. But... Eric Trump, Donald Jr., Ivanka, they that's different. They're, chilled, they're kids of a president, but they've put themselves out there. That's well, different they're because the they're equation. on television. They're on television talking policy. They're, they're right. also part they're, of adults. They're yeah. adults. So, so it's, it's, we're talking about it's, kids. We're talking about kids. kids. Under, you know, 18. I think life's hard enough. And normally, Joy, I would support, because I know what a comics approach to this is, that yeah. you can't really edit comedy. You've got to let it go. You, it flows. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to 
how rough the world is on bullying and yes. kids right now, yeah. it's one of those places that I would have a hard time even laughing anywhere at a joke of, at the kids' expense. And Except the tweet you're wasn't holding, You're holding a comedy writer accountable, and the president of the United States says much worse things, and he becomes the president. That's so true. So there's a double standard here. That's well, true. I, yeah, I, but I, I, that. but, but, but. I think uh, that's that's not not, but, but why punish his kid for that? It's not the kid's fault that yeah. his dad's a, you know, whatever. And I, I, find that, <laughs> you know what I, mean? I agree with uh, that yeah, part. I'm yeah. just pointing out the yeah. double standard. Well, and there's it, a triple standard here. You know that. Yeah, you but the, that. but the tweet had something to do with violence. Yes. yes. And so against, um, you know, whoever. Yeah, but... And uh, his father... But then go after the dad. Then Donald Trump go said after in 2016 of August... Yeah. ...the following. Hillary wants to essentially abolish the Second Amendment. By the way, if she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although these Second Amendment people, maybe there is. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but I found it... Uh, implication. Against, but, violence but we, implication we there. We don't He's like the it. president. Two right, two wrongs don't make it right. Like and I also, feel that. How about, ten, how about ten wrongs? Well, I, think right. I don't agree with. Sorry, Whoopi. I don't agree with this either. I never did. So I feel like you have to take it case by case. Yeah, and, and you can't. And you awful. can't. You can't hold a ten-year-old responsible for the idiocy of his dad. I don't mind going out. His dad's a look. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, girl. Oh. I just, you know, <laughs> there's some things that you can't, you can't blame a 10 year old. No, he didn't ask right. to come. I yeah. agree with that. He didn't ask to come. You know that. I say we, just. We're saying the same thing, but we also. So blame. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Blame the dad, but also pay attention when you discover that Comey, did you know this? That uh, the New York Times is reporting that Comey, the FBI director, is being kept on. Yes. Of course, he, of course is. he is. So those are the he things is. that if you yeah. want to attack some stuff, let's have some fun. Let's go after that and rip that to poop. But, but you know, but to, not to, kid. to Joy's point, one thing that where I think they've gone wrong is SNL has suspended her indefinitely. She took down the tweet and she apologized, which is something our they didn't president do that. Well, never that's does. The, well, that's I have right. that's do you the question. Forget? That's the question. Should should she be? Is the is what she did worth what she got? Because right. it, it it and to me, no, that was right. inappropriate. Yeah. it's and an inappropriate it's overkill. To an indefinite yeah. suspension. Yeah, get her out. And she did apologize. Yeah, yeah she said that she. I sincerely apologize for the insensitive tweet. I deeply regret my actions and offensive words. It was inexcusable, and I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was a it was yeah. a good apology. That's, I think ridiculous. you make a good point, though, Sonny, when you talk about Eric Trump. Or once these kids become adults, then and get on television and get on news shows mm -hmm. and espouse opinions and are weighing in yeah. on their parents' policy decisions, then they yeah. need to be accountable for their actions. Then, you, then the excuse of, oh, it's just, you know, they didn't want to off. Okay, yeah. so, so, we're so talking maybe, about actual children who yeah. are not involved behind the scenes and are being held accountable That's for different. things they're So maybe the doing. president gets away with it because he has the mentality of a 10-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> That's giving a 10-year-old, most 10-year-olds. Okay, five-year-old. Yeah, four-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. He's a psycho. You know, he's, saying, he's getting away we with it. People are getting... holding him accountable. We're sitting here. He I mean, won the election. He won the election, but you, you hold him accountable every day, and so That's do a whole right. bunch of people. So yeah. he's not getting away with it. He's held him accountable. He is getting away with it. He's signing things I don't like already. Let's and go. you're holding yeah. him accountable yeah. for that. Yeah, what power okay. do I have? You're holding him accountable. What power do you have? You, in, in a few years, you'll have, have the opportunity to vote for somebody else. Elections have consequences, and you have the power to criticize that person and their policy. Right now I do. And people can be mobilized and vote people out. Right That's now I do. Biggest power in the world. But, right now. Well, all right, but I hope that I still have my First Amendment rights. You will have years. your First Amendment rights. I'm confident of that. <laughs> I reiterate, <laughs> Comey is staying on yeah. after yeah. all of that. Yeah. Well, he was there is a camp. big question as to where we are headed. And, and, and we are right to ask these questions. I it is we what we're supposed to do. And the new, for new first lady has, uh, I guess, also mostly been treated with kid gloves. Uh, people held up signs at the Women's March that read, Free Melania. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And someone also put in, <laughs> put in on their site that uh, the box that she gave the Obamas, okay. when they opened it, it said, help. help. I yeah. saw that. <laughs> also, you know what, there was another one. There was another one that said, here's your speech back. Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> I didn't oh, want it. Oh, oh. <laughs> She's soft. Funny.
<laughs> no, but the, you know, the, there's been a lot of humor yeah. taken mm -hmm. here. But uh, the question is, should she be off limits? Because she was one of the folks weighing in on political matters on your show, on my show. Uh, in 2011. See his tax returns. So what from that clip she was very assertive, assertive about it. Yeah. she was right on his team and, and that yeah. was very interesting because that's his you, wife you yeah. all know i've that been was. willing to sort of let her off the hook after seeing the the yes. nude photos you know that i thought but that's something i thought was in the past she plagiarized michelle's speech we all know she did i was willing to kind of look the other way she defended her husband and called uh sexual uh, joking about sexually assaulting women just locker room talk i kept on giving her these passes then i saw that and i was like wow yeah. you don't get a pass she doesn't. you she don't get, get a pass because now you're pushing forth conspiracy theories and, and, and did you're you not did you not hear any of the stuff that's in the two speeches that she gave yeah. that parroted exactly what he said you know, last year. I mean, this is this yeah. is. You know, this. If you're married to somebody, you're going to carry on. I, I I get from talking to folks who are married. You're yeah. going to parrot kind of what your husband said. The reason you're but with but the idea. Well, if you agree with them, if you, you agree, agree. well, you but agree. you know. Yeah. We will never know what she thinks or feels because she's always whisked away. Yeah. Well, that was the last time anybody saw her for more than five minutes. We, we will hear more. <laughs> she was pushing a jewelry line, which she gave me a lovely watch, yeah, by she the way. Did, yeah, she, remember she came to yeah. the view, gave us three. Yeah, beautiful she's very nice. But, but I'm, I'm curious that, about her platform now. The question, the question really is, is she being... Uh, told to tell these things doesn't and I think like that. I think that in that clip which is one clip only it shows that she has a mind of her own it doesn't mm -hmm. really matter if she's being told she's a grown woman and she's talking policy look conservatives didn't let Michelle Obama off the hook for no. things she said I remember Michelle Obama in February 2008 to be fair she said for the first time in my adult life yeah. I'm really proud of my country because it feels like hope is finally making a comeback a lot of people out there had a problem with that and said for the first time you're proud of your country yeah mm -hmm. they criticized her because she's a grown woman about to take a very big job right. and they had questions about what she had said in the same way be consistent and have questions about we this. Need can I, can, can her, I her just birthroom. clean something up? I'm, no, I don't care about a birthroom. It's too late. But I understand why Michelle felt like that because I watched my mother weep at seeing uh, President Obama become president because she never thought in her lifetime she'd ever see a person of right. color. Yeah. So I get what I Michelle get, was saying. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just wanted to clear yeah. that up for people. Yeah. So no. I understand that. I'm yeah. just speaking to the people who are yeah. selectively critical, who yeah. were critical of Michelle Obama saying, well, she's about to take a big job and she said this and I'm uncomfortable with it, but are hesitant to criticize Melania for getting but on television and having an adult. That, that, Michelle Obama got, this, got flack because she wanted to give healthy food to children. Yes. Don't you remember well, that? She got right. flack because of the government. Hold up. Not because of that. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, God Still ahead, Trump goes to work. The most controversial cuts, repeals, and orders of his first day on the job. Welcome back. Taylor Swift has spent a lot of her career touting female empowerment and strong women, but she's being trashed as